tea where every single blind date has been made. Mind you, the very first time we did the show, you never saw it. In 1985, when I presented the pilot edition of Blind Date, it was never intended to be seen by the viewers at home. At least, not until now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Blind Date, the program where boy meets girl and girl meets boy with the watchful twinkling eye of Miss Scylla Black. is all about making dates. You're gonna see a lovely lady who's gonna choose one of three fellas. And I'd like to ask them if they'd be prepared to fight to defend me. <laughs> Impossibly, would they be any good at it? Well, actually, I'd have to defend you to my last gasp, which probably be very shortly after my first one. <laughs> you chose number three, my favorite and yours, Tony Daniel from Surrey, come in. <laughs> the contestants were told to shake hands when the screen went back <laughs> so as not to shock the viewer. How things have changed. Mind you, if you thought that was a bit different, have a look at the film of the date. He's late. Way, what's he come as? I say hello. The old boss is over here. <laughs> Large puddle ahead. <laughs> you silly, stupid bird brain. <laughs> well, we've come a long way since then. Mind you, the whole point of a pilot edition is to give us the chance to make mistakes and then put them right. And you never get to see them. Now, sitting on one of these stools must be one of the most nerve-wracking experiences. And we get plenty of mistakes here too, including more than a few from someone not a million miles from me now. Mm. <laughs> well, hello and welcome back. Let's go meet our three lads, Paul, Nick and Jeff. There they are. <laughs> 